Today on this rainy day, I'm going to show you our water cistern system, how we replenish this big boy, where we get the water, and what components we use. So we have a 500 gallon water tank that we use for our main water tank. Um, we get rainwater uh, to refill it, and when rainwater is not available, we go to that source right there. So uh, really nice having clean, fresh water at our disposal. We filter it, of course. There's the old number nine westbound. Oh, it's the number 822. Everybody wave. Bye. Bye, everybody. Heading westbound. Coming from Chicago, Spokane, wherever, heading towards Seattle. It's kind of cool seeing trains go by. Some people don't like it. We don't mind. Okay, so we have a pipe that goes up the side of the property. And we've covered that with straw to help insulate it. The pipe runs up toward the cabin and where it's exposed, I've wrapped uh, some temporary insulation around it. We've got some bubble wrap and uh, tarp and straw burrito. From there it goes into the cabin. Okay, well not exactly into the cabin, but under the cabin. Comes up through there and hits the pump. And then hot water tank and service up into the house. A neighbor of ours is a contractor, so I hired him for the day to do the work, and I just helped him. I'm up here without a car and no way to get to the hardware store, and he's right down the street. He has the tools and the know-how, so got it done in a day where it might have taken me a good week or two. He also gave us the hot water tank for free, so that was awesome. So today I'll be topping off the tank using uh, rainwater from two 50-gallon water barrels. The barrels are food-grade barrels, and uh, they fill up pretty quick around here with the amount of rain that we get. Sometimes I'll hook up a tarp to the barrels to speed up uh, filling up the barrels, but most of the time I just let them sit and then top off the tank with 100 gallons here and there. Other times I'll just go straight to the river and fill the tank up to the 500-gallon mark. This ever-built one-horse sump pump that we're using empties these 50-gallon barrels pretty fast. We also use that sump pump down in the river to pump up to our 500-gallon tank. Looking good. So we're using this Everbuilt pump, the sump pump. I use screen door mesh material to cover the barrels and just wrap a bungee cord around to keep them on. It keeps out a lot of the big debris.
you'll want to use this potable water hose too. You can find it at a lot of box stores. Um, it doesn't cost too much. You can find it on sale and get a pretty good deal. I got these pretty cheap. I think they're 50 footers, uh, but that'll keep your water tasting, tasting good and uh, won't get that hosey taste. Hosey taste, maybe a hose taste. You, you get it. We're using the Utilitech one horsepower shallow well pump. And then we have that mounted on top of the Utilitech 20 gallon pressure tank. The first filter is a GE housing that I got for free. That has a 30 micron filter in it. Then it goes over into the Viqua UV filter. The cistern is a Norwesco 500 gallon tank. And just like magic, we have water, but don't waste it. Hey, thanks for stopping by and checking out this video. Hopefully it helps you out if you're looking to put in a water system for your tiny home or a cabin or something. Um, I will put a link to the components of our system in the description area down there. All right, until next time, we'll see you later. And once again, the balance between nature and man has been restored. I gotta get some friends.